Next we have Ooh. Asada Tigra. And Asada has been a black liberation activist for decades. Greetings. Ooh. Greetings, everyone. I'm here representing, I am here representing the Black and Latino Alliance of Rhode Island. I just have a question to ask you all. How do we live in the so-called richest country in the world and we got poverty? We got people living in the streets. We got people underhoused. We have people that are hungry. We have people that have poor health care. We have children that are poorly educated. We have seniors that buy cat food and dog food to live. Right. How is this the richest country in the world? Well, I'll tell you why. Because this country's economy, part of the motivation behind poverty is capitalism. That's the motivation. You have to have poverty. You have to have low wage workers for this system to run and for the greedy not to meet the needs of the needy. Yeah. 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 Now, most of you all just woke up when Trump hit that white building. Just woke up. But since 1619, when they brought boatloads of black people to this country, it is screwed up. <laughs> Free labor, labor initiated the economies in this country, the Caribbean, and in Europe. So those economies were built on the back of black people. Let's not make any mistakes about that. And those people that are in the African diaspora are the ones feeling the wrath of this economy. So, yeah, we're telling people to wake up. But black people in this country have been woke. And it has been a nightmare. So, when you look at the history of this country, the struggles in this country have been made by black people. So, we have to keep moving forward. We have to build solidarity. We have to face racism. And I will tell you, black people and other people of color are not racist. So when people say white racism, there is no other kind. There is no other kind. And those people who benefited from racism, benefited from wage disparity, disparities, have been white people. So we need to make an adjustment. We need to make change. But the change we make has to be a change 
where the generations of people benefit. And we just cannot turn our back on the children in this country, all of the children. And we have to begin to build more unity among black people, among Latin people, among Asian people, among white people. That's where the struggle begins. That's where the power begins. And that's where a new day begins. So with that, we need to understand that just, just May 19th was the birthday of Malcolm X. April 4th was the assassination of Martin Luther King. We have heroes in this country. We have sheroes in this country. And we need to teach our children that we are fighting for a better life for them. Thank you. Uh -huh.